So I'd like to show you um, an alternative to a traditional Christmas cake. I'm going to just marzipan and then show you it um, toasted. So I've got two packets of marzipan here and I'm just going to work those together. Now when you do this, you release the oils in the marzipan. So if you were going to go on to royal ice the cake, then you would always let your cake, your marzipan cake, um, stand for a day or two just so the oils will um, settle. Right, so work it so it's nice and pliable. And I'm going to take two thirds for the top of the cake. So just cut that off. Always roll out on icing sugar, never corn flour, certainly not ordinary flour. There's no need to um, use anything other than icing sugar. So I like dusting. And then roll and turn. So keep the marzipan on the move. And I'm going to roll it so that it's slightly larger than the top of my cake. And by turning it, you're going to keep it into a nice shape. So you're going to go the same shape as your cake. And then just use either a, a piece of ribbon or a, a tape measure just to make sure that you're going to get the same size. Just push that back in a little bit. Now turn that over and I'm going to jam the top of the cake. Now I'm using just the, um, the orange marmalade without the peeling. I just like the flavour better. It's only a small cake this, it's a bought cake. But it's for that last minute gift or if you don't want a lot of cake then this is fine. So go over that, take the surplus off with the knife and then turn the cake down onto the marzipan and then begin to make sure it's not sticking, a little bit more icing sugar if you think it is and you're going to cut and push that marzipan in and that will fill in any gap that you may have around that top edge like so and then remove that just go around again with your knife just make sure that that's nice and smooth so the, the, the knife should be parallel that so you don't have a bulge of marzipan around the top and then pop that onto your board now, if you wanted to marzipan the sides of your cake, then you take the third of the marzipan that was left. And again, knead. And this time, I'm going to roll it into a sausage shape. Oh, and just, just work that a little bit more there. And again, I'm going to go around the cake just to make sure. Again, icing sugar on the board, give it a roll. And then, with your pin, Now, one thing I'm not doing, you don't go off the, off the marzipan and thin it out. You go nearly to the end, but not quite. That was just catching a little bit there, so we'll move that. 
Now the other thing that you have to check is the depth. So with your knife, this isn't a very deep cake at all, but um, you just check the depth uh, that you've you've got the uh, the marzipan deep enough. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to trim the edge nearest to me. Let's leave that squared up. Okay, make sure it's not stuck and then jam the marzipan. You don't want much on there, it's only to stick onto the cake. You take the cake and the base of the cake towards you, place it on and roll it along. So, and then that goes back on your board, a rather large board. But, uh, Okay for now. And then your knife, you don't have it at an angle, it must be uh, flat on top of the cake. And you just slice that away. And that will give you a nice sharp edge. doing larger cakes for weddings or something like that do it exactly the same right and that will give you a nice flat straight edge and then you can go over with smoothers now if you wanted to um, have the Christmas cake without icing then do this part and then use the back of the knife to just don't, if you go with the sharp edge, you, all you're going is a cut line. So if you use the back of it where it's it's uh, it's thicker, then just press quite firmly into the marzipan. And make sure that you've got lines all the way along there, and then turn it slightly. So, and then either use uh, finger and thumb just to crimp around, or you can use uh, little crimpers to go around the outside edge. So you just pinch so make sure that you don't get a build up of marzipan. Keep it clean. So you're just squeezing the crimpers together. All the way around and then You would have your grill nice and hot and place the, the, the uh, cake onto a metal tray. You could use the base of your cake tin, your, 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 um, your cake tin there, like that. And so you would slide that onto, a, onto your tray and under the grill. And I've got one here that I've already done. And what happens, it goes like, 
like as if you're doing cheese on toast so it just starts to brown don't leave it you must stand and watch it because it's it goes from nothing to brown um within seconds so just watch it and soon it starts to bubble just like cheese on toast and then uh whip it out so i've i've used my uh, the base of my um, tin there um obviously you wouldn't put that under a grill and then a, a little piece of holly uh, make sure it's clean a little bit of icing in the stem and you can pop that on top i've only marzipan the top of this cake so i've put a piece of grease a strip of greaseproof paper and some ribbon around the side but if you're going to marzipan the whole thing then it's not necessary really to have the ribbon on but it, it does add a little bit of color um so yeah you can just get away with just marzipanning the top if you want 